Hello, ABs. This is the lady, and boy, do we have a hot topic discussion going on. We have a hot topic discussion going on right now, and I wanted to come in and share it with you guys as well as get your feedback on it. I have no problems with people not agreeing with with me, okay? I am not saying I'm an expert in anything I'm discussing with you guys. I'm just talking to you as based on my experience. So I've wor worked in finance, engineering. I've also worked in the religion sector, okay? With these corporations, most of the workwear were, most of the workwear were, were conservative. And, um, and I guess we need to really kind of try to define conservative because everybody is different, all right? No two people are going to have the same idea of what conservative is. What's conservative for me may not be conservative to you. Right. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. That's not a problem. But, you know, um, people seem to think that once you uh, say what your experience is, you're criticizing or you're hating. Oh, I, I wanted to come in and just let one, first of all, let Shirley B. know I am not criticizing her in her work wardrobe, and her work wear wardrobe, or her lookbook. I absolutely loved every outfit. Um, but unfortunately, there are some outfits that are not, has been considered corporate, if you will, um, appropriate. Now, you can wear those to work, depending on where you work. Um, like I said, my experience has been in the engineering finance in religion sector and so some of the clothing that were you know she displayed may may have may throw up some red flags in the workplace okay but every comment isn't because we don't agree doesn't mean I'm being negative or jealous or throwing shade okay I'm just stating my opinion and my experience so anyway so, the conversation was the work the workwear and you guys please go to her web go to her site if you haven't already been there and uh, see the clothing it's absolutely gorgeous the girl has a phenomenal phenomenal body and I am certainly not saying you should hide your body at work okay it's no way to hide our curves all right some women have curves some women don't I understand that we example Prime example, me no, lady, uh, me and a coworker, and during my uh, engineering um, experience, uh, I was an engineering analyst, and so during that time, me and the secretary, who happened to be white, um, were wearing the exact same dress or the exact same day. Okay, and um, <laughs> because I am a double D as well as a double B, okay? I have double D's and I have the double D, double B. Um, that's the big butt, all right? The dresses did not look the same, all right? My dress fitted me a little more snugly than the dress that she was wearing, you know, because she didn't have the double D's or the double B's, okay? So naturally, uh, it wasn't it, it wasn't gonna look the same way on the both of us okay and her comment to me was <laughs> did your husband see you leave the house with that on wait wait a minute what are you saying sweetie we have on the same dress why would my husband have a complaint with the way my dress is <laughs> if your husband didn't have a complaint the way your dress is but the, the the gist of this was, because I am a curvy woman, okay, it didn't look the same. It looked um, maybe too provocative on me than it did on her. And so, and that's what we have to um, toe the line, kind of, is not saying you want to hide your curves. I am certainly not one to advocate hiding our curves. I appreciate curvy women because I am one. I love um, wearing clothes that uh, accentuate my my assets, downplay my 
my my flaws but um, there's a time and a place for everything okay if you are I'm not and I'm stressing if you are climbing the corporate ladder um, you want to know what that corporate image is okay and try to fit in I know that mo uh, 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 some of the comments and I'm gonna read some of the comments to you guys uh, that I've been getting but some of the comments were saying that we we're not being our ourselves or we're not uh, displaying our individualism I'm not saying you can't be who you are I'm just saying tone it down once you get to your plateau once you become a partner or whatever it is that level that you're trying to reach once you get there you can be who you want to be most of the time but you still have to be you still have to be within that corporate image you got to know the game people you got to know the game so you can play the game My I, I'm a I'm a Navy girl, all right. I went into the military, and before I went into the military, I had four years of ROTC in high school. So I knew what to expect when I got into boot camp. There were women who came into the boot camp program and had no idea what they were in for. Some of those women were saying things like. They're not going to tell me what to do. <laughs> and I'm going, what? what? What do you mean? Because I was their, because of my experience, I was their, their section leader. And, uh, and I'm going, what, what are you talking about? They're not going to tell you what to do. That's all they do in boot camp is tell you what to do. <laughs> you have to toe a line. I'm, and I'm sorry it is that way, but it is that way for a reason. Okay, so those were the comments that um, my comment or my commenting on a comment generated. And uh, yeah, I, I wanted to come in and do this hot topic because it's very important, especially... Um, for the younger generation, the, the younger ladies who are coming out of college or who may have just gotten their first um, opportunity to, to work in a corporate environment here in America, okay? I don't know anything about Britain. I don't know what their dress code is like. And I'm the first one to say that. I would love to <laughs> visit there and, and see, but, you know, my experience is here. And uh, my thing is to educate those young ladies, those those people who are go just starting into corporate America, and and so and that's that it has always been and always will be my um, my advice to the younger uh, the younger people who are com coming into corporate. They don't know the game.